All right, this is the answer key to the notes on DNA that we took yesterday. All right, um, I know that some of these questions weren't gone over exactly in this wording, and I know that some of the wording was kind of difficult, so I'm going to explain everything and what I wanted from you uh, from this activity, okay? And again, as long as you gave me full effort and you gave me your best try, um, you're gonna get full participation points for this activity, all right? now. If we look at this first one here, it says DNA structure and function, okay? So it said DNA is a nucleic acid and there was two blanks. So I wanna highlight here that DNA is a type of nucleic acid and that specific type is that deoxyribonucleic acid. All right, if we go back to our chapter 12 notes here, that was right here, DNA stands for deoxyribose nucleic acid. All right, now, again, I wanna highlight here DNA is a type of nucleic acid. That does not mean that all nucleic acids are DNA. DNA is a specific type of nucleic acid, and we will talk a little bit more about that in the next couple answers here. All right, now for the next one, it said blank blank is a chain of nucleotides. All right, and again, we talked about that one. Okay, so if I go down here, nucleic acid is made up of a chain of nucleotides, right? So multiple of these guys here add together to make a nucleic acid, all right? So that was number, or sorry, that was letter B. For C here, each nucleotide contains, all right? And it says a backbone made out of, and it said blank group, and then it said deoxyribose blank. All right, so if we go back here, just to point out the three parts that the nucleic, uh, sorry, the nucleotides are made up of. They are made up of a simple sugar, they are made up of a phosphate group, and they are made up of a nitrogenous base, okay? And if you notice here, this in yellow, okay, this in yellow is grouped together. And the reason that is, is because if we go back to the answer key, it says the backbone is made up of, right? So that yellow right there, that is the backbone. Okay, that is the backbone. So the blank group was obviously the phosphate group and the deoxyribose, or sorry, um, let me go back here. The deoxyribose blank was sugar, okay? And the thing that I wanna highlight here is that the reason this is called a deoxyribonucleic acid is because it is made up of deoxyribose sugar, all right? So again, my apologies if we didn't cover that specifically in class here, but hopefully you were able to figure out very simply just by looking at the picture here. Okay, so the two answers for number one, the backbone is made up of that phosphate group and then this deoxyribose sugar. Again, the reason being it is a deoxyribonucleic acid, therefore it is made up of deoxyribose sugars. All right, and then for number two here, it said nitrogenous base, nitrogenous base. Right, so we spent a long time talking about this, but there were four possible bases here, adenine, guanine, cysteine, uh, and thymine, all right? Um, and then they were separated into two groups, that purine group with the double ring structure down here, and then the pyrimidines with a single ring structure over here. Now the thing I wanna highlight is that we talked about the reason you can know which one is which is because pyrimidines have a Y, so does cysteine and so does thymine. Okay, so does thymine. All right, so for this question here, when it said adenine and guanine, those are purines. Those are purines. All right, and cysteine, or sorry, cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines. All right. Now, when we were labeling this, you should have been able to very simply look at the picture and tell me that that little dot there was the phosphate group. This right here, that backbone was the sugar, okay? And then this was that nitrogenous base, all right? So hopefully you were able to label that correctly using this picture here from your notes or whatever you found online. All right, now this one here, okay, so hopefully uh, for letter D, you were able to do a quick Google search and find this guy's name, Chargaff or Chargoff, however you wanna say it, right? His rule was that we said equal amounts of C and G and T and A. 
Okay, so I do want to highlight that we didn't talk about that a whole ton, except for right here. We said there are similarities, so there are equal amounts of C's and G's, and there are equal amounts of A's and T's. And what I wanted to point out to you here was that you are very easily able to Google search who came up with this rule, all right? So again, that's why I'm never going to ask you to really talk about or remember these people's names, okay? I'm more concerned with if you know that there are equal amounts and why there are equal amounts. And the reason being is that C is always paired with G and T is always paired with A. So something that people came up with is that you can say apple tree or chewing gum, meaning A's with T and C's with G. All right, whatever memory device you have that works well, um, please continue to use it. If you don't, feel free to steal this one. So apple tree, meaning the adenine and the thymine go together and then chewing gum, meaning that cytosine and that thymine go together. All right, then for letter E, it said blank, blank arrangement found by Watson and Creek. All right, so that blank, blank arrangement, that was that double helix. Okay, so that double helix arrangement here. And again, I left their names off because to me, again, it's more important that you understand uh, what the arrangement is rather than memorizing scientists' names that you could hopefully have Google searched quickly. All right, so that should have been the double helix arrangement. Now, for letter F here, I was... I'm going to accept two answers here. All right, so it said they're held together by weak blank blank. All right, if we go to our notes here, I said weekly by nitrogenous bases, right? So that would work. Or also more specifically, hopefully you can see right here, these hydrogen bonds, okay? So these hydrogen bonds right there, also they're pointed off right there, okay? So you can see that there's lines connecting them, there's dotted lines in this picture, right? So that's that hydrogen bond. So the nucleotides are held together weekly by the nitrogen as bases, specifically the hydrogen bonding of those bases. Okay, so I would have accepted either answer on that one. Okay, for the last one here, chromosomes, they are made up of DNA and we were mostly talking about it being protein. So again, hopefully this one, you know, if you got this one wrong, I'm not very concerned with it. Okay, I'm more concerned with did you know it's made up of DNA and protein. Now, I do have to point that out because it becomes particularly uh, important in the next couple units here. So I will highlight that DNA is made, or sorry, chromosomes are made up of DNA and this protein called histone, okay, histone. All right, again, you do not need to memorize. You will have these notes available to you um, and we'll, we'll talk more about why that is important moving forward. All right, so again, I will leave this video up here and you can watch it if you need more practice with it. Obviously you have those notes, um, so please feel free to go back and review whatever you need.